Ever pulled your dipstick to check your oil, only to find oil actually coming out of the dipstick tube? It's messy, it's concerning, and it definitely means something isn't right under the hood. Today, we're diving into 8 common reasons why your engine might be trying to tell you something by pushing oil out this way. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, alright, let's break down these culprits, from the simple to the more serious. Number 1. Excessive engine oil, overfilling. One of the most common reasons engine oil comes out from the dipstick tube is simply because there's too much oil in the engine. While oil is vital for lubrication, overfilling can cause pressure to build up within the crankcase. As the crankshaft spins at high speed, it churns the excess oil into foam, which not only reduces lubrication but also increases internal pressure. This pressure seeks a way out, and the dipstick tube often becomes a release point. When oil is forced out here, you may see splashes or even continuous drips. Overfilling can happen during an oil change if the person doesn't check the dipstick properly. Always check the level after adding oil to ensure it's within the safe mark. Some cars are more sensitive to overfilling than others, so it's best to consult the manual. Regularly checking the oil level and only topping up as needed helps prevent this messy issue. Number 2. Blocked or malfunctioning PCV, positive crankcase ventilation, valve. The PCV valve plays a crucial role in regulating pressure inside the engine. It allows gases that build up in the crankcase to be redirected into the intake manifold, where they're safely burned. If this valve gets clogged or fails, pressure within the crankcase can rise significantly. With nowhere else to go, this pressure can push oil out of the dipstick tube. A stuck PCV valve can also cause poor engine performance and increased oil consumption. It's a small component, but its failure has a big impact. Drivers might notice oil leaks, odd noises, or rough idling when it's faulty. Fortunately, PCV valves are relatively cheap and easy to replace. Regular maintenance or a simple check during oil changes can help catch the issue early. Don't ignore signs of increased engine pressure, it's often the PCV valve crying for help. Number 3. Worn piston rings or cylinder walls. Piston rings are supposed to create a tight seal between the piston and the cylinder wall. When they wear out, combustion gases leak past them and enter the crankcase, a condition called blow-by. This increases crankcase pressure and can force oil out through weak spots like the dipstick tube. Worn rings often result from age, poor maintenance, or long intervals between oil changes. You may also notice reduced engine power, increased oil consumption, or bluish exhaust smoke. In severe cases, the dipstick may be soaked in oil, and droplets can even spray out when you remove it. Fixing this issue isn't cheap, as it may require an engine rebuild. However, catching early symptoms and keeping up with oil changes can slow the wear process. It's always smart to listen to your engine when it starts showing these signs. Number 4. Blown Head Gasket A blown head gasket can create all sorts of headaches, including engine oil being pushed out through the dipstick tube. This gasket seals the cylinder head to the engine block and keeps oil, coolant, and combustion gases separated. When it fails, combustion gases can leak into the oil passages and crankcase. This dramatically raises the internal pressure and often forces oil out through the weakest link, which might be the dipstick tube. Symptoms can include milky oil, from coolant mixing, overheating, or white smoke from the exhaust. It's a serious problem that should be addressed immediately to prevent engine damage. Fixing a head gasket isn't a quick DIY for most people, but early detection helps minimize repair costs. If you're losing oil and can't see an obvious leak, the head gasket might be the silent culprit. A professional pressure test can confirm it. Number 5. Clogged Engine Breather System Modern engines are equipped with breather systems that allow the engine to breathe, in other words, to vent pressure and vapors safely. If the breather lines or filters become clogged with sludge or carbon deposits, pressure in the crankcase can't escape properly. This trapped pressure finds other exits, like the dipstick tube, resulting in oil leaks or blowback. You may also notice poor engine performance or oil accumulating around the engine bay. 
A clogged breather often happens due to lack of maintenance, especially with old oil that thickens over time. Cleaning or replacing breather components can resolve the issue and prevent further pressure buildup. It's not as well known as the PCV valve, but the breather system is equally important. When this system fails, it's like the engine can't breathe right, and it starts sweating oil as a result. Number 6. High Engine Blow-By from Worn Engine Components Blow-by is a normal process where a small amount of combustion gas escapes past the piston rings. But when engine parts like pistons, rings, or cylinder walls become worn, the volume of blow-by increases dramatically. This gas enters the crankcase and boosts internal pressure. If the ventilation system can't handle it, oil may be forced out through the dipstick tube. Excessive blow-by can be spotted if you remove the oil cap or dipstick while the engine's running and see smoke or pressure. You might also smell fuel in the oil and notice the engine oil getting dirty quickly. In older engines, this is a common issue and often signals it's time for major service or an overhaul. There's no easy fix for heavy blow-by except repairing or replacing worn components. If your engine is pushing oil out, it might be shouting that its insides are tired. Number 7. Damaged or missing dipstick tube o-ring or seal. At the base of many dipstick tubes, there's an o-ring or rubber seal that prevents oil and pressure from escaping. Over time, this small but critical piece can dry out, crack, or even fall off unnoticed. Without a good seal, crankcase pressure can push oil up the dipstick tube, especially when the engine is under load or revving high. You might notice oil stains near the base of the dipstick or on nearby engine components. It's a simple fix but often overlooked because people assume something more serious is wrong. Replacing the o-ring is cheap and can be done in minutes. It's a good habit to inspect it whenever the dipstick tube is removed for maintenance. Just like a house needs a good seal on its roof, your engine needs all its seals tight, otherwise, you'll have a leak in places you never expected. Number 8. Engine running hot or overheating. When an engine overheats, it causes the oil to thin out and reduces its ability to lubricate and cool effectively. Additionally, the excessive heat can cause the internal components to expand more than usual, increasing pressure in the crankcase. If the pressure gets too high, it can force the now thinner oil out through weak points, including the dipstick tube. Overheating may also warp parts or damage gaskets, which further contributes to oil leaks. Signs of overheating include a rising temperature gauge, coolant loss, or steam from under the hood. If ignored, this can turn a minor issue into a major engine failure. To prevent this, always keep your cooling system in check, flush the coolant regularly, inspect hoses, and replace thermostats or water pumps as needed. Remember, heat is the enemy of engines, and when things get too hot, oil finds ways to escape, even up the dipstick. So there you have it, 8 potential reasons why your engine might be pushing oil out of the dipstick tube. Some are simple fixes you can tackle yourself, while others indicate more serious internal engine problems that require a professional mechanic. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Fix and Cruise for more car care tips, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Have questions or another cause you've experienced? Drop it in the comments below.